What's going on, everybody? Welcome hey. to our Tuesday training. Welcome to Tuesday training. You may be watching this today on September 1st or another day. And I told Jared, September 1st for me is the official start of sweater weather. So you'll be seeing us in sweaters, at least me. He refuses to go until the end of September. But welcome to September. Welcome to my version of fall. <laughs> today, we are going to be clearing up some misconceptions and hopefully give you some very crystal clear training on groups. They are not like your phone. And then campaigns, not the political kind. <laughs> and with that, we will talk about groups. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. We get a lot of questions, um, and maybe it's our fault for naming them groups and group messaging. Uh, but what you are used to for group messaging on your phone is not the same thing that happens inside of Scipio when you send a quote unquote group, group. message. It's if you're sending a group text. You send one message to several people and they read it as a group together. Yes. Group, group me is another uh, app that people will use to message a group where the entire group reads the message and sees the thread and all the replies. Scipio is very different. Yes, it's not like that. So here in my address book, I have these groups here on the left hand side. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can see these. I've got a customer group that has 24 contacts in it. I've got an employee group that's got 30 contacts in it. A uh, recent order group that's got four contacts in it. Let's go ahead and um, compose a message to my recent order group. You might be thinking, well, why would you want to send a group message to these four people? They don't know each other. Well, none of them are going to see any of the other messages to any of the other people. That is the power of Scipio. Yeah. It's going to send four individual messages, not one message to four people. And so the users will receive this and look at it as if it was written just for them and that is the magic and power of this platform yep and so let's go ahead and message this group i'm going to click message group my side panel will open up over here and i can compose a message hey first name how are you liking things now and scroll down you can see here in our preview exactly how this will be received by the person that you are sending it to Yep, it's going to pull in their first name, and they're going to be the only one that receives that message. They're not going to see Aubrey's message. Paul won't see Aubrey's message, and Aubrey won't see Paul's message, and neither of them will see Sullivan's message. Um, and you might be saying, well, weren't there four people in this group? Why are there only three messages? In the preview, we only show three of the messages. Uh, and so if I have a group of 10, 20, 50, 100, uh, you're still only going to see three previews. That's just to help you know that your custom fields have pulled in properly. And also, to, I like looking at it the way that my end user will see it. Yep. And uh, that's sometimes where I catch my spelling mistakes, <laughs> is in looking at the preview. Uh, so let's go ahead and schedule this message. And I'm going to schedule it for Friday the 4th at 11 a.m. Done. Go ahead and scroll down. Send on Friday, September 4th. And in the calendar, and maybe this is part of what's confusing for people as well. Because once we go to the calendar, um, Right here, it, it does say four messages, but it only has them on one line items. You might think, oh, well, I'm sending the same message to all four people. You are sending the same message to all four people, but you're sending four versions of that message, one to each person. Yes, it's individually received. Think of it as bulk messaging that has been personalized and received individually. And one of the reasons we call it groups is because it's a way to organize, yep. to sort and organize uh, your contacts or your address book. Yep. And that's, that's really what the groups are for. The groups are for you to take a set of contacts and put them together so you can reach out to them in the future. And when I say reach out to them, I say reach out to each of them individually because they're in a similar position. So maybe you want to have a group for new leads. Maybe you want to have a group for, um, like we've got here, customers, my local customers, my out of state customers. Uh, maybe I want to group them by the time zone or the state or whatever it is. Or by product. <laughs> yeah, there's. If, it, if you sell product and you want to uh, do a VIP group of people that order a certain product, put them in the group. Let them know when that product is in. Yep, and there's lots more that groups can do, but the point that we want to hit on today, a message, a group message from Scipio is not like a group message from your cell phone. Again, a group message from your cell phone, you send it to 10 people, five people, all five of those people can see everybody who's on it and see everyone's responses. A Scipio group message sends five individual messages, one to each person, and as far as they know, 
they're the only one who got the message. And that's the beauty. You want them to feel as if you are reaching out to them personally and uh, you will get uh, engagement and response with that. Yep. So that's groups. Now we've also announced the question, what is the difference between a group and a campaign? And they're very, very different. So now that we know groups, let's go and talk about campaigns. Not the political campaign. Not political campaign. No, we're coming up upon the election. So <laughs> no, we're not going anywhere political with this. Uh, just a little disclaimer. Believe it or not, I am a total Photoshop dummy. Uh, <laughs> I can't do sketch. I can't do Photoshop. So when I want to design, I go to Canva. I love it. They're not paying me to say this. And basically Canva is Photoshop for dummies. I can go in where experts have created all of these beautiful templates. I can tweak the colors, add some text, personalize it, and then use it. In my mind, that is what a campaign is. It's a messaging template that we have written or the experts in your industry have written. And you can go in and you can edit the language and make it your own. Uh, but it's not just, it could be just one message, but typically a campaign will be a series of messages. Yep, so it's a set of messages that are gonna go out over time. Um, and so we have a couple of different types of campaigns. We'll talk about just two of them, drip campaigns and reminder campaigns. Um, a drip campaign drips on people out into the future. So let me go ahead and grab my follow-up campaign here. You'll notice that my follow-up campaign has three messages. Um, so a campaign, again, a set of messages. Each of those messages has a couple of unique things about it. First is the actual message itself. Uh, and so this message, hey, first name, how are you liking everything? I started to notice uh, a difference in my teeth around now, so I thought I'd send you a quick message. I realized I was doing a demo for... Teeth whitening. Yep, teeth whitening. <laughs> um, this is, the second thing is, when should this message go out? Well, this goes out four days after they've been added to this set of messages, um, this campaign. So four days after they're added, they'll get this first message, and I call this message, thank you. So those are the three things that are unique, the title, the actual content, and then the delay. So when that message will go out, when that message will deliver. When we were composing the message just a few minutes ago, we chose the date and time that the message goes out. Well, in this one, you choose how many days later and at what time you want the message to go out. And so you'll see that here in my second follow-up. Hey, how are those teeth looking? This goes 10 days after the prior message. Okay, and this is important because I've been asked this exact question. When you see 10 days, is it from the first day or is it from the previous message? Yep. It is from the previous message. Yep, every subsequent message goes on a delay based on the prior message. Like a domino. Yep, as soon as number one goes, we wait 10 days for number two, and then we wait 17 days for number three. Okay, so this campaign will actually take four days plus 10 days, so 14 days, plus 17 more days, 31 days. They'll get these three messages over 31 days. Okay. Uh, and that's this final one. Hey, first name. I don't know if you're running low on anything, but if, if there's anything I can get you, please don't hesitate to let me know. And the fortune here, it's the follow-up. Yes. And it is never forgotten if they're in a campaign because you started a series of messages where they will receive everything that you intend for them to see. You don't have to remember to send them or schedule another message. Yep, it will it's happen there. automatically. Unless you opt to pull them out of the campaign. If they respond. Okay, and let's go ahead and talk about that. So again, a campaign, I've got these three messages um, and I want them to get the message, all of the messages, unless they respond. So here at the top of my campaign, we've got this option, remove contact from campaign if they send you a message. If I click this box, now anyone who responds to my campaign will automatically be pulled out and not get the next message. The dominoes got pulled out of the sequence. Yep. And this is great because if they respond to a message and there's a conversation going on, and then all of a sudden they get this random automated message on a question or something that you've already discussed, it will look automated yeah. and robotic. And we don't want that. You want to keep the context of your conversation alive. Yeah. And so if I add Bianca to this campaign and she gets message number one, doesn't respond, 10 days later gets message number two, and then responds, she would never get message number three. Okay, or if she responded after message one, she would never get message number two. Uh, and so we put this in here to help you always look, to, to make it so that you never look foolish in your messages. We don't want you to look stupid. With yeah, your ever, <laughs> never. Um, and so that's what a campaign is. A lot of our users 
want to send message, want to blast. Um, and there is, you can use scheduled messages like we showed before to send one message. But if it's, this is, this is me and I, this is maybe my own experience talking here. Typically, you want to send a follow-up to a message. There are very few times that one message is enough to do the trick. Well, in sales and marketing, the, uh, the number seven. It's seven follow-up to get, push someone to an action. With, with text messaging, it's typically three or four. Yep. And so for many of you who think, well, I need to get in and send a message, that's great. But maybe as you have that thought, think, well, maybe what would I say to someone if they didn't respond to my first message? And instead of just scheduling a message like we just showed, you could use a campaign and you could set up that first message, which you were going to send. Like, hey, Bianca, how's everything been going? Is there anything that you need? And then if they don't respond to that, send them a follow up two days later or three days later or five days later. I didn't hear from you. Yeah, I just, just didn't hear love, from you. I just want to follow up. Just want to check in. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And then if they don't, if they don't respond again, go ahead and throw one more in there. Um, hope everything's going well. Maybe you're just on a nice vacation. Um, maybe not during quarantine, but <laughs> hey, hopefully <laughs> they're camping. Yes, they're that's camping. what everyone's that's doing everyone's these doing. days. <laughs> um, and then they get that third message, that follow up. But again, you can check this box if they if they respond. You can pull them out of this set of messages, um, and so you're going to see a lot more responses from using a campaign than from using a scheduled message because a scheduled message is just that one message. Whereas a campaign it's continues a to follow of up. Messages. Think one domino, many dominoes. Yes. <laughs> uh, and so now that uh, we've talked about campaigns, we've talked about groups. Um, sorry, I've talked, we're, we only talked about drip campaigns. Reminder campaigns are the same we thing. We actually except, have an entire recording on reminder campaigns yes. that we can drop in here. Yeah, they're we'll they're a little bit different, but we've done, we've done a training on events and uh, the reminder campaign. Yep. Reminder campaigns take a Scipio event and they send messages leading up to an event, like three days before the event, two days before the event, five hours before the event. So um, if he's whatever, piqued your curiosity, you look at the linked video that we're going to add in the comments with this one. Yes. Uh, but let's bring the two together. Groups Jared, and show them how to add a group to a campaign. Yes. So the first thing that I want to mention is a group and a campaign are not tied together. They are not. And I mean, what <laughs> different I mean domino is, set. <laughs> yes. What I mean is um, you can't just say, oh, I want anyone who is in group A to automatically be in campaign A. It doesn't quite work like that. Uh, they are separate things. Uh, but you can take a group that you have and add them to a campaign all at once. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our customers all group. And I'm going to add this group to uh, my follow-up campaign. There's two ways to do this. The first one I'm going to show you is the fast way and the way I recommend everyone do it. You're going to click this option, add group to campaign. And then you're going to pick your campaign. Yep. And there's a <laughs> list of campaigns here on the right-hand side. I'm going to click my follow-up campaign and then confirm. Here in the address book right now, we've got zero for CMPS. That stands for campaigns. I'm go ahead and refresh my page here, and that will say one for each of the contacts. I'll see it's still loading them one by one, just like we talked about before. It's in, it will be received individually. So these are going to take a minute to get everybody into this campaign. Yeah. But now that this whole group was just added to a campaign, I've got 30, 24 people in this group, and our campaign has how many messages? I think I had three messages. Three messages. Three messages. Teeth whitening follow-up campaign. Yep, we just scheduled 72 messages to go out over the next 31 days. Less than 60 right? seconds. And, yeah, it was super fast. Um, and so the other way to add, add, let's say you want to take 20 of these 24. I'm going to go ahead and select the 20 that I want. And what's your little fun thing? Oh, yes, yeah, the shift click. <laughs> shift. So we'll click the click, first one. Shift, scroll click. Scroll all the way down to the number 20, shift, click again, and it will select everyone between those two points. Um, I want to take these 20 people and add them to a campaign. Well, I can't use this option because this will add the whole group. But now that I have these contacts selected, I can use this option here at the top. I'm going to click campaigns, click follow up, and now just those 20 people are in the follow up campaign. Okay, and that's a fast way to remove them from campaigns as well. 
Uh -huh. Because this campaign may be so incredibly effective that you don't want to message the whole group because you'll be slammed with responses. Yes. So. Or on the flip side of that, maybe you're just starting with a campaign. You, you have a list of leads. You want to test it. Test Take it. 15 at a time or 20 at a time or 30 at a time. Don't just drop your whole list in there. I love that. In fact, that is a recommendation we give to people over the very first training. I actually recommend sending it to five, maybe 10 people. If you don't receive a response, tweak your campaign and send it again. Not right. to the same 10, to a new 10, the, the next 10. There is value and wisdom in not sending uh, a campaign or a message to your entire list at once. Because if the messaging is bad, you only get one shot. And we do have what we call the message mentor. While you're creating this messaging, it's, a, it's your helpmate, it's your, your little message, your mentor, to help you write the most effective message. Follow the tips and uh, you're likely guaranteed to get a response. Yeah. So we talked about a lot of things today. We talked about groups. Group messaging is different in Scipio than it is on your phone. It is. Okay. We've Received talked by the individual. Yes. Each <laughs> individual person will get their own message. They won't know that anyone else is on it. Um, we talked about campaigns. It is not political. It's not political <laughs> campaigns. A set of messages that go out over time. Like dominoes. Yep. And nine times out of 10, you want to use a campaign <laughs> rather than using a scheduled messages message because it has follow-up with it automatically built in baked into your campaign okay we've also talked about the differences between groups and campaigns a group is not tied to a campaign but you can add a group to a campaign and it will message just like a group messages all individual messages to each person um, and then we briefly mentioned the message mentor and let's end by talking about where people can get help. yes if you and need help if you're stuck you have questions we have amazing resources for you and that is where we want to put you first everybody within their account has a resource center and it has um, information on groups that we just talked about it has campaign information it actually has campaign templates i talked about uh photoshop for dummies my canvas <laughs> We have campaigns for dummies, not that you're a dummy, but uh, they're templates. They're templates that you can use and tweak and change and, uh, and set to go. We have articles based on industry, best practices, use cases, any and everything you need to know about your Scipio account or Scipio in your industry is here in the resource center. Yep. So this is a great place to go to get your questions answered. You can also find us on Facebook. You can find us on YouTube. We want to help you experience success with Scipio today. Yes. So feel free to reach out, um, go to your resource center, find what you need, get in, start using campaigns. Uh, and most importantly, keep it personal, keep it contextual. And we'll see you next week. See you next week. Yep, same time, same place, same people.